Chris, where are you? Where is this place? What are you doing? Well, here I am, guys. I'm on Lake Weiss in Alabama. I am bass fishing for the first time in I can't remember how long. This is where I used to go all the time. All the time. I got my old halfway ruined bass fishing gear out and I'm gonna see if I can catch anything. I know one thing, I like the way this boat sits. This is gonna be a good bass fishing boat. Right now I'm using a crankbait, a little in. It's a Norman's, I don't even know if they sell them anymore. This kind of fishing takes a little more work than what I'm used to. So I'm only gonna be out here about maybe three hours this evening. I wanna fish some this week. We're uh, staying up in Cedartown at, at the apartment at Tammy's dad's house. So while we're here, I brought the boat up. I'm gonna leave it here, and uh, this is gonna be my that's gonna be my fishing center for fishing operations <laughs> in Northwest Georgia here in Cedartown. So this is entirely different than what you guys are used to looking at. I like to crankbait fish a lot. And uh, the way this front end sits, I used to when I bass fish, I stood up all day long. I'm not really interested in doing that anymore. Now, if I get in a spot where I feel like I need to stand up, I'll stand up. Don't y'all worry about that. Paul likes to crappie fish. And this lake happens to be called the crappie capital of the world. So he's looking forward to coming up here once it cools off a little bit and crappie fishing. And you can tell these reels ain't been used in a while. <laughs> it's, it's been so long since I caught a fish on a crankbait. This little, uh, little war mouth kind of thing here, whatever you want to call him, brim, hit this. I thought it felt kind of weird. And then when I pulled him up out of the water, I didn't really realize I had him, and he scared me to death when he started jumping and shaking. That little dude right there. It's okay. It's a start. This used to be my number one thing, running a crankbait down these riprap banks like this. Man, it is pretty out here. That little overcast, I like it. That's why I wasn't gonna go this afternoon. Because we hadn't uh, we hadn't been at her at the place, you know, but a day. But she's busy doing stuff, so I'm gonna get busy doing this. The water temperature is almost 88 degrees. Hot. All right, just had one hit right here at the boat. Looks like a, not a bass, white bass. These are fish that will school up. They're really fun to catch because a lot of times if you find them, you can catch a whole bunch of them. It's a white bass. And they will mix with a um, with a striper. This lake has stripers in it, white bass. Uh, and the white bass and the striper mix is a hybrid bass. I really haven't caught many hybrid bass in here. But I have caught a lot of white bass. He was way out here. He hit it way out here next to the boat but they don't get very big. Stripers get really big, really big. 
striper really is a saltwater fish that a lot of uh, lakes, reservoirs uh, have on them. I guess a lot of the uh, DNRs and stuff um, put those in a lot of these lakes here if the lakes were getting overpopulated with bait fish and stuff. Because those stripers will eat, eat a lot. That's the thing about like in a lake like this, you know, fishing down there in St. Mary's, you pretty much, if you find fish, you can catch them. And you may not just absolutely kill them, but you can catch them. Just if you just find them where they are. Um, the fish here, you can find them and they may not eat, you know. They don't have to eat as much. And they're not in current all the time like those fish down there are. I probably cast more in 15 minutes fishing like this than I will all day long <laughs> when I'm fishing with when I'm fishing with shrimp and stuff like that. You just cast and throw it out there and wait. Live bait. I switched over to a jig. Maybe these fish are a little deeper or something, or I don't know. I did just get one bite on it. Been fishing it about, maybe 15, 20 minutes. That's the first bite. All right, a lot of times around these docks, there'll be brush piles and rocks and stuff like that on the bottom about five to seven feet out here in the front of them. It's hitting all that deep, but this is not a deep lake. All right, I've moved back up at another creek. And this creek is considerably cooler. It's reading 85 surface temperature. I'm hoping that makes a difference in the activity of the fish. I don't know why it wouldn't. Nice bite. And a nice bass. Took a while. Of course, it's starting to get a little dark. That's the way it is in the summer. It's hard to catch them during the day unless you really know what's going on. And I hadn't fished up here in forever, so I'm kind of just guessing. Another one, green pumpkin cinco. Not as big as that first one, but a fish. All right, all right, all right, all right. The old Texas rig still works. Oldie but a goodie. Up closer to the bank. It is the middle of August now. This is not the best time to fish. That's the best excuse I can give. Well, 
here we go, day two. Uh, first day, caught a couple of bass. That was it. Today, um, it's overcast. It's got a big storm coming in tonight, tomorrow. So, I'm hoping that'll have these fish kind of chomping today. Uh, I'm going to see. I'm going to fish. Starting off fish where I caught them two fish yesterday. And uh, kind of move around a little bit. See how I do. But, uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. It's just, bass fishing is a lot different from uh, what we've been doing down there in St. Mary's. It's a lot more, uh, a lot tougher fishing. But I'm gonna tell you what, it's challenging and I really, really enjoy it. Uh, it's beautiful uh, down here. If you guys haven't noticed, you got the, this lake wise, is right near where the mountains start going into uh, Northwest Georgia, Northeast Alabama, where I grew up. Uh, so I'm enjoying being up here and uh, I'm gonna meet my dad later on in the week and fish a day. So let's, uh, let's get after it. Well, finally got this little guy on this crankbait. Nice white bass. Between his fins and these hooks, you gotta be careful. That's a, that's a decent sized white bass right there. Pretty. Good look at him. Nice one. Bass. Little guy. It's bigger than that last one though. <laughs> <At least. laughs> little bass, a second little bass. So one white bass, one little bass.